good day friends it is me hl my tech and i am back with another sweet tinkercad project i'm going to share with you so my friends let's get cracking my friends this is a print in place car real quickly i'm going to click on the blue piece and i'm going to make it transparent so you can see the gaps that i've designed so that when you actually print it the wheels when you're done will actually move I'm releasing this to you so you can see if you can make one that's more epic than mine and actually prints a little bit faster. My goal was to have it print in one hour and right now it takes about an hour and a half. I do want you to know that this design right down here is to the bottom so that you do not need any supports. I print this with a skirt and then the wheels support themselves and the car body supports itself as well. These two pieces are currently locked so that way they cannot get cut when we ungroup and group the other pieces. If we ungroup this, you can see I've got this part that cuts the body, and then we'll ungroup again, and you can see I've got the wheel wells that get cut out by this set of parts, and I've got this that cuts out the seating area. If we hit hide, you can see how those pieces all work together, and they are built of simple parts that are grouped as well. If I do ungroup, you can see cylinder, cylinder, paraboloid, paraboloid, and I used the flip tool so that they'd be opposite each other, and then I dropped them into the locations I wanted, and I picked numbers that would make everything work just the way I wanted. If I do show all, this is kind of slick. I have locked the green wheels, so if I group this, those turn purple because they're locked, and these 11 shapes, when they are grouped, result in three because the wheels do not get grouped and the car body does. Now before you play with this, I recommend that you unlock and unlock, grab the entire project, duplicate, and then I would move it away with the arrow keys so you have one that you can destroy and abuse and then relock the other one. Now there are so many things you can do to make this more cool. You can add extra pieces, you can put words on it, you could use the real wheels. I just wanted a simple one that is fun and demonstrates how you can make a print in place car using Tinkercad. If you're looking to find the file, you can simply click on the Tinkercad home button and then choose search up above and then type print in place car when it first appears it will not be here because it's sorted by likes we need to click latest and then if you look in the latest you will find it and of course you can speed up the ability to find it by giving it a like and if you want to play with it hit tinker so you can actually get in and start modifying and making your own now when you open it there will only be one of these because i'm going to have this deleted but you will be able to do those same techniques and of course, friends, when you're done, you get a sweet little car that actually has wheels that move. Friends, if you make something incredibly cool, please take time to share it with me. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at HL Mod Tech. And there's nothing cooler than seeing the awesome ways you take my projects and make them better. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.